and from the perspective of, of a leader, like what's something that they can do to, to coach their team members to uh, not only help identify, but also just do the job that's needed? I mean, outside of you know, explicitly sharing the agenda. Mm. Well, I think sharing the agenda is the big one. I, well, let me just grab a moment. And this is a phone call I got from my daughter's um, sister-in-law. Tiffany. Tiffany is young, talented. Um, she's a graphic designer and she was leading um, a creative part of an advertising agency. And Tiffany was reading the book Impact Players and she got to this part about agenda and like, do you know your boss's agenda? Well, she went into work that day and it just so happened that that day her boss started talking about her three top priorities. So Tiffany's ears perk up and she's like, wow, this is the agenda. And so then Tiffany is like, oh, I'm going to go to work on this agenda. She takes those three priorities. She goes back. She starts mapping out, well, if these are the three things that are important to my boss, here's what I can do. And then she starts asking other departments, well, what can you do to help us be successful at this? She goes back in a week later with her one-on-one -on -one with her boss and says, well, these three priorities that you mentioned, she didn't even get all three of them exactly right. It was like she got two of them right and one was just a little bit off. But these three priorities, here's what I think we can do and what I can get these other groups to do. She lays out the plan. Her boss is like, what? Who are you? And where did you come from? And, you know, because Tiffany has laid out this like whole case for how they can work on those three things. Her boss is flabbergasted by this. And the next one, one um, which Tiffany called me right after she called, she was like hyperventilating. She's like, Liz, you will never believe what happened. She said, she called me back in her office, gave me a huge promotion. I'm now running a huge part of this agency and this race that's like bigger than anything I could have ever imagined. See, but it started because her boss described here, here's what's important now. I call it the win. Like, you need to figure out what the win is. And if you want your people to get on the agenda, like let them know at any given time, like here's what's important right now. Or here's what's important to me. And we often think, well, if it's important, everyone should know it. But you know, when we get busy and in our heads, we forget to communicate, you know. And, and I guess in addition to that, at least from, from my experience, what I've found helpful is, is also the providing of context, right? It's almost showing that, okay, these are the, the top priorities, but here's kind of the context around the bigger picture. And, and here's kind of the first order and second order consequences of this to kind of map, you know, uh, kind of map those dots. Absolutely. And, and, you know, this is where I think Simon Sinek's work on Start With The Why is really, really important, which is the most important thing leaders can do is give them like the context and what tends to be more evergreen. So like as things are changing on a daily basis, you can keep going back to, in essence, here's what we're trying to do. Here's what's important. Here's why it's important. Here's why it's important to me. And then instead of telling people what to do, like in this situation, the boss never told Tiffany what to do. Tiffany went and figured all that out. And I think too many leaders we spend our days telling people what to do, but what we would be better off doing is describing what's important and why it's important and then letting other people figure out how to be of service to that agenda.